Roger here. Uh, this is going to be a shaky camera because I'm in my truck driving on the, on the freeway. So, uh, a little late getting up, going to the Kilroy event. Had a very, very, very long night last night. Uh, good and not so good. Uh, I'll talk about the good first. The good is that, you know, I, my... Uh, I was I was everywhere on the internet, uh, just explain my explaining my unbiased view. There's definitely no bias in my view in regards to the Kilroy event. You know, I make observations. I uh, I, uh, I, uh, I I account them. You know, and I and I and I want to hold people accountable for some of these things. So so with this. What I want to go ahead and just talk about right now is is uh, mundane Matt's little segment about my scenario, something he knows very, very, very little about. Um, he, yes, he may have been there, he may have been there, but he doesn't know the whole story. So here's the whole story. I get to the to the I get to the registration uh, uh, conference room for registration. There's nobody in the conference room. I get there between five to nine p.m. That's what the that's what the app said. The app from the uh, uh, that Kilroy told us to download with the event information on it. Registration was there. Good morning, Tracy, and, um, and thanks for joining. Um, and so I'm there at the conference room, all three floors, empty, 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 empty. I went everywhere, and I'm sorry about the bad connection. I do see that, um, <clears throat> but I went everywhere in the conference room. Nobody. So I'm there for like at least 45 minutes searching around. Frustrated with having to return there. There's still nobody. And then, and then I, I'm getting, getting ready to leave because I have another obligation to meet outside of this. And because um, I'm just there to register. That's what it said to do. That's the date that it said to register. I was going to be there. And then I saw three guys. One of them was uh, Michael Guthrie, the speaker, the very first speaker of Kilroy. And he was telling me, oh, no, 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 registration's done. All three of the guys were telling me, registration's done. They canceled it early because something, something. And, and I'm like, well, we're, okay. He's like, well, we're going to go to the meet and greet. We can hook you up with, with whoever can register you. And I'm like, okay, great. I'll follow you. I followed them over there. And um, I went to the little bar where there was the meet and greet, about 30 to 40 people. And then I sat down. I'm not going to begin mingling with people when I'm sitting there. Michael Michael said he'll be right back. And when he came back, he said, he said, oh, you know, Kilroy, uh, um, I'm sorry, Tim and Bass Mama, I've been told they've been, or he told me that they were going to be coming down in about 20 minutes to come and help me with everything to register. I'm like, okay. So I just sat there waiting and he told me who to look out for. Like he gave me the description of who Jim was, like bigger guy, whatever, uh, Irish accent. Well, I can't really hear many people speak in this bar and that could, that description narrows down a lot of, doesn't narrow down a lot of people. A lot of those people were big, you know? And so anyways, I'm waiting. I'm not going to begin mingling when I'm looking for people. And I'm not going to approach anybody who doesn't, you know, Michael said he would point them to me. So anyways, I'm sitting there, yeah, um, Monday, Matt, you're right, I was sitting there. Uh, Michael did. Michael did reach out to me, Tracy, and, and he's not even a coordinator, he is just a speaker. So it was like, he went out of his kind way to do that. It should have been Kilroy's responsibility. Uh, or at least the people, I, I didn't, okay, so there was also those, those neck things, the... I don't have it with me right now, it's in the back, um, are lanyards. I didn't know what the colors meant. No, there was no information given to me for that. So again, you know, I, I'm clueless. The biggest thing as well is this. I posted a tweet three months ago asking for the description, asking for specific names of people who were part of this event, the organizers. I didn't get a direct answer. I got an answer saying, oh, we're just, we're, we're just gonna be so happy to meet you. So Monday, Matt, here's the whole kicker here. You know these people, I don't. So yes, I was sitting there and I was waiting and I probably could have gone up to somebody if I would have known who it was, but what am I gonna do? Go start asking everybody around? I already did. I asked, uh, Michael Guthrie was willing to help me out. I did what he told me to do and I stayed and I sat down. I'm not gonna go up to every Joe, Joe Blow and say, hey, you know, are you this person, are you that person? I should have been told that. I should have been told that initially, three months ago when I asked. But no, everybody wanted to keep their names confidential, so you know, it is what it is at that point. <clears throat> My, here's my thing. I'm going into this very neutral. Um, and then I realized that there was other. There was also another person, a guy named Nobody of Consequence, YouTube handle Nobody of Consequence. He was also waiting there with me. I didn't know that. He was sitting alone opposite of me. 
And we were both sitting there for about an hour. He kept getting up, walking around, but he kept coming back. So, Matt, it's not just me. I have, there's other people with this story as well. So, don't... Kilroy more than owned up to this issue. They posted a tweet saying, yes, it was their first fuck up. I respect that. You know, I can... Res I, again, I'm neutral on this. I can respect them for saying that. And I even applauded them for it. I said, thank you for the honesty. If you're... You brought up in your video, you pointed me out. And you said I was directly lying about it. I'm not lying about this. I mean, what is there to lie about? Why would I need to lie about this? I went to one building. And again, you have to drive to get to buildings. I went to one building as instructed. You guys were in another one. Why would I go to an event to register where uh, uh, where it's a meet and greet? You know, and, and, and besides, I got there a little bit earlier as well. I got there in time to, to stay in the other conference room. There was no need for me to go to the meet and greet. I don't even think I was supposed to. Anyways. You know, for you being, for you stating that you were a security guard and that you were keeping your eye on me, like, like, all right, dude, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I would do. And, and does that mean that you're already looking at me at an, on a negative light? I, I don't know. Uh, it is what it is at this point. But if you have been a former security guard or security or whatever, and this was in your training in the past to keep an eye on people, you did a pretty piss poor job when it came to me because you don't know the whole background of the story. You could have came up and asked me. You could have came up. I'm not gonna do that. I'm sitting there waiting as instructed. I'm looking out for this person that I had no idea who I was looking for. I got a physical description, but that's not a picture description, so. Oh, no, no, I am going back today. And, um, and uh, yeah, I, I, I'm heading there right now, actually. Uh, I am late. Uh, again, I was up all night <clears throat> during, during my live stream. Um, last night, I I caught wind of, of Matt, Mundane Matt. Somebody asked me on there, hey, did you, just, did you see what Mundane Matt posted? I'm like, no, I haven't. And then afterwards, I stayed up watching his video, and then, okay, you, could, you don't know the whole story, dude. I mean, like, is, is this how you look at evidence? By observation? That's a shitty way of looking at things. I mean, you got you got to, you got to, if you want to know the whole story, you could have came up and asked me. You know, you're more than welcome to today if you want. You know, I'm open to it. I might, I might be a very... I guess a lot of people describe me as a standoffish guy, but I'm a very cool guy. I'm a very nice guy when you meet me. Um, open, down to earth. So yeah, I have I have no beef with you. I had no beef with you. I don't know why you had a beef with me. Um, again, the identities were the biggest thing for me. So you you got to see this. For, you got to explain it from your eyes. I'm explaining it from my eyes now. <clears throat> so I don't know. I, I if you want to if you want to keep an eye on me today again, go ahead. You know I'm trying to. I'm trying to be very neutral about the whole thing. You look at Kilroy as 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 a success. Okay, I see it as maybe you could see it as a success. I see it as so far. I see it as it's enjoyable. I'm there. I'm having a decent time. Um, you know, covering everything. Um, but I don't see it as a, a success. I. 50 people in a room. Look, I was even more generous than you. I said 60, 60 to 65 in my initial video. You said 50. So who's the one being a little bit more more um, optimistic here? I think it's me. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't count success. When it comes down to the nitty gritty, if this, if, if Kilroy is not going to be making any money here, I mean, every business runs on money and, and honesty and transparency. There hasn't been that. And that's what I'm, 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 I'm just trying to get it out. You know, be, 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 be open and honest and you know, I don't know, we just, we just, there's a lot of, there's, the ego is getting in the way. Everybody wants this thing to be a success, a success who is there, but they're letting their ego get in the way of the honesty of it all. And that's, that's my whole problem with this. So, again, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it somewhat. There are, there are pros and cons to it. I've relayed those yesterday out of my live stream. And, um, Roger is not a degenerate. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like it, so... <laughs> um, AZ has tough drug laws. Yes, they do. Let's see here. Sorry, I'm just now looking at the comments. Uh, bring some weed. Oh, boy, I wish I could. I, I should have, actually. I drank a little last night after this thing. Don't let... I'm not going to say what you said there, but it says, Don't let name name said get to you. He is circling the wagons right now. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's, it's easy to tell because... He's already praising it. I mean, he's going against like what is observably factual. I filmed from the back so that everybody could get a view of what was going on. Everybody else filmed 
only at the at the speaker. I want everybody to see what, what's going on so that way we can have a constructive conversation about this. Look, I have been an IT manager for years. And when it, when it comes to hiring people, when it co- okay, here's what I tell people that I hire, the people that work with me. Um, I say, if you fuck something up, you own up to it. And I will call you out on it, but we will work together to fix it. And vice versa. You do the same to me, you say, Roger, you fucked this up. I don't care if you're like a newly trained employee or whatever. You can tell me that. I have no ego. I don't, well, everybody has an ego, but my ego doesn't extend to the point where I'm trying to defend something that, that doesn't need defending. Be, be critical of everything. I love being critical of myself. I love being wrong. I love being proved wrong. And I, 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 I because it's an, oppor- an opportunity to learn. And that's where Kilroy right now, or some of the people who are saying this is a success, are failing. You don't get anywhere by just saying it's a success. Acknowledge those issues that are going on right now. And I think, I think for the most part, they have on some levels. Um, but do that. Be honest about it. And then you could end up redeeming yourself after a while. You know, who knows? Uh, it's, it's, that's how I look at it. Um, and <laughs> his skepticism of me. I mean, that's what... That's what I mean, in his video, he says he's he's seen me walk in and he's keeping his eye on me. I'm like, all right, dude, calm down. You know, it's uh, I'm waiting. You can ask around. You can ask. Uh, you can you could have asked Michael Guthrie. You saw Michael Guthrie talking to me, approaching me every now and again, right? So you could have definitely have asked him. Um, again, I'm not saying that there was nothing I couldn't have done. Yes, I could have gotten up and walked around, talked to all 40 people. I wasn't in that mode. I was in a hurried mode. I was told to wait. I had another obligation outside. You can look at my Twitter. I posted even picture of me and my friend hanging out very late he woke up early the next morning to take off back to Colorado so I kept a friend waiting because I was kept waiting toad on the road so what is this thing with toad you guys I kept hearing that last night that's too funny (laughs) it's toad surprise surprise he's on the road (laughs) toad on the road Uh, I really don't know who this guy is I heard yesterday one of the people I was chatting with was saying that it's a somebody's kid it could be wrong I could be part of a joke here so it is funny though uh, Toad is undercover I watched this video and the one he did with Mr. Medicare honestly in my opinion he looked stupid and clearly did not pay attention to your entire video he was just he was just trying to sling mud yes that's exactly what I'm saying as well spot on you know this is the this is the problem you know we want and granted it's freedom of speech that's what this event is supposed to be about He's free to think privately in his own mind without actually looking at facts and trying to ask about the situation from the source. Or he can publish it without, you know, with or without that information. It's his choice. His choice. No, no issue with that. Um, <laughs> crazy stuff, though. Um, I gotta go to you guys. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna be uh, live streaming here very shortly. I did miss the Count Dankula one. Thank you guys for showing up. Um, I gotta pay attention to the road now. All right, just want to get my two cents in. Uh, stay tuned for some of the streams. Peace out, guys.